Cabin fever risk. Since we don't have a cowbell, since we do not have a cowbell, it looks like we are going to have to go fishing. How do I got? I got one. Ooh, we have all the cans. Let's put these cans in here. It's the first opening. It'll take a second. All right. All right. Not to get too fancy here, but we'll put our old coat in there. Look at my new coat. New wolf skin coat to go with my new rabbit skin hat. So now here's my gear set up. It seems a little lopsided, but I'm okay with it. When it comes down to this, we've got these two hides. So pants are on the way. We've got some birch. We've got this cured gut. Well, you know what? I am pretty hard on a bow, but we do have more cured gut, right? So um, I can definitely put away enough for a bow. And one, two, three, four, four, some pots. Now, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me, she's a she's a thirsty lady. The time has come for her to drink. Did, oh, didn't I say I was going to put some uh, those things away? Uh, besides, I mean, kind of, I mean, we have water, but we could always use more water, right? Always use more. Yeah, like, that's coming along. We did okay uh, with the saplings, I think, you know? Um, uh, uh, real quick. We'll just whip one together. All right. So how are we doing for time and skills? So we have survived 35 days. A little bit to go before we break our old record. Um, sorry. Skills. Skills say cooking three. Archery three, really close to four. Cooking's on its way to four, of course. Fire starting, we're almost done with Tinder, so that's nice. Somehow ice fishing level two, and s somehow ice fishing is a viable option. I don't, don't understand it myself. It shouldn't be. Okay, we have eight arrows on us. That for me is plenty. For me, that's a lot. Usually, I'm walking around with three, three arrows and slightly upset. You know, just. Not like, you know, losing my mind upset, just worried, you know, just a little worried. Hey, that one's cured. Hang on. Always good to see. Yeah, well, we are low on the food, so let's figure out our fuel situation. I've got a lot of coal, and I love using, uh, when I'm up here, why not use coal for... Oh yeah, we have broken into cedar, haven't we? Got a couple of fur. Okay. It's not too cold out, so we're gonna jet up here, grab ourselves some sticks. Yippee sticky. I know, it's supposed to be skippy. Anyway, tickety boo, we got some sticks. Yeah, this little hill back here behind the uh, the hut, it's good for it's good for a few, and then you come on up over here to this fallen tree. This is another spot where they kind of sprinkle them around. You can get attacked if you go for the, sometimes there's saplings up where you see those four trees on that that, that rise. There'll be a sapling and a potential wolf attack. Oh, 
Oh, I must have gathered these sticks earlier. Because they are not here. Usually there's a little little splash of the sticks up here. Well, there you go. See? And burn all those galleries for nothing. I got a stick. Mm. Sometimes it does the whole, oh yeah, there's supposed to be sticks here. Wait till he's not looking. Then we'll throw them on the ground. That'll be way more believable. Alright. Anyway. She is nice and healthy. All of that condition that I normally don't have. But that's also what I'm supposed to be doing. So I ate that deer while making this coat. You see. So now I'm out of food pretty much. We would go over here and check. But it's been a while since I played this character. Hey, look, it's a torch. Yeah, let's see. This is where the deed was done and nothing, nothing's left. There's a wolf over there we could go mess with, but I don't really want to eat him. The parasites are fine and everything. They don't really bother me. Yeah, so we, we can just cook some food. Let's do it. We're going to be here for a minute. The idea was to go get that coal anyway, which we did. Now we can turn that coal into fire, turn that fire into water and fish. Come on, little fire. It's not transmutation by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I, love, I love the structure of that sentence. That was nice. See, we have some coal in here already. And we can, you know, dip a few more coal into this. This is that's what I do. Alright, so we'll do some smashy. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Yes, you are. Very soon. Alright. So, let's get our cooking pot on. Um yeah, okay. Listening to the wolves howl is uh, kind of nice. Cook that. Fish for an hour. We've got the calories for it. We've got the calories backing us up. Boom. There we go. Now we can fish while we water. How are we doing time-wise? Good. We've got two hours. Now, do I have two hours worth of hydration on me? Yeah, that's the thing, right? Those are kind of valuable teas right now. So it's not really worth my while to even drink anything. So I did this damage to myself. Oh, my favorite. I have trouble catching fish in Aurora. And I wonder if it's because the Aurora Wolves... Look at that guy, just going nuts. I wonder if it's because the Aurora Wolves scare all the fish away. No, the Aurora scares all the fish away. I'm not really worried about the wolves. They've never affected the fish before. Yeah, right. We've got enough calories for another two-hour session. Do we have... Oh, we got the fire time. Let's do it. I know, it's exciting, right? I got this whole new coat. And... Uh, now I'm fishing with my new coat. But I, I don't think you can... Oh! Well, there we go. Thank you for proving me wrong, Mr. Aurora Fish. We'll cook you. Fish for an hour. It's just, I'm just trying to kill some, some cabin fever by standing outside by a fire eating fish. Which is saying a lot, because I like fish. But it's almost bedtime anyway, right? So we can go eat some canned food. Oh, I've got I got my, my my gray cat is coming in for a visit. Loves to visit me. He does when I'm when I'm recording. 
recording or playing games. It's not so bad when I'm playing games, but when I'm recording, it's kind of a... It becomes a, a three-way divide of attention, which is... Now, this is supposed to be, in IRL, the best fishing time. Dawn, dusk sort of thing. So I'm hoping to get me a bass. Nope. All right. Okay, well we can we can cook our breakfast, drink some water, drop some. Okay, enough drinking. Drop some fish. Listen to the dogs rustle. Fish for one hour. And uh, I might go for another hour. All right, because we've got the. Um, I'm gonna get. We're gonna cook until she's full. Oh, rest suit. I'm gonna. Oh man, I hear ya. But you really need to uh, have the right amount of calories for that nonsense. Oh, there goes me lying. Now I can make more, but not right now. So we're going to eat that fish. Cook this one. Um, what do we got there for time? Good, good. All in all, not a bad time outside. Check on our cabin fever risk. It has gone down substantially and it will probably go away. Oh, we got ourselves a blizzard. We can go home and have a little sleep. I got an hour. All right, well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's cook up some more water. And if I've got it, I might as well. Start kind of prepping up a couple of pieces here and there. We're not fully exhausted. You can spend a little bit of time outside in a blizzard. It doesn't help you get your blizzard walker badge when you've already gotten it, but... I am eventually going to swap out this stuff for, uh, I think I'm still carrying it, it's disinfectant. Just as a reminder of I really need to pay attention to, uh, to, uh, I really need to pay attention to the old infection risk and stuff like that when I've been bitten or mauled or something. Alright, we're just going to cook this one tea and then we're going to, we're going to get... Take a torch. Um, okay, I am not wind sheltered. That's interesting. There we go. Put both of those away. Might as well clean up the front here a little bit. Get a bit of a headwind. Good thing I ran out of uh, out of uh, stamina right then. Now that I've got the uh, smelly rabbit on me, and the wind is blowing directly towards a wolf. I just I was just pretty astounded to see the rabbit out there. So we'll take him. I need the I need the furs. All right. Well, I need to find some place to escape this cold. What cold? You're fine. Here, can this dry on the bed? Somehow. Come on now. Oh, nice. Should be a little gross little rug.
Let's put some other things in here. Well, let's take all these out and then just put the good stuff in, you know? There we go. There's my buddy. Let's go. There we are. Nice. Okay, so clothing says that's a little damp ish. Crampins. Okay, I don't have a second second year wrap. I'm not pl quite playing Dead Man here, so I'm not quite all set up. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Uh, oh, yeah, geez, we're good. We're good. So. Don't really need the conditions so we can. Uh, sorry for the mic tapping. Um, gosh, we got a lot of coffee. That is good. That is good. I think I got a strategy with that. I'm going to make up a couple of cups so that they don't turn bad. But not drink them. Just leave them here so that, you know, at the end of it. At the end of it all, I want to be able to eat some food and some, some coffee. And, you know, do a, do a civilized day of soup and crackers and, and, and things like that. Of tomato soup and crackers. Comfort food, you know? That's my big plan. Right now, my small plan. Now that we've had a little rest, a little, little nap. The small plan is to refuel. Those fish were also giving us calories. Holy crap, what have I done to my knife? The sweet sounds of sharpening. I know what I did to my knife. I made a coat. Ah, yes. Put your hand up if you remember when, for some reason, the bar went the other way. That was one of the changes they had to implement. They couldn't. It had to go the other way. It had to go counterclockwise. Goodness me, I roughed up my knife. I really traded in a lot of knife condition for um, for a coat. But look at how warm I am, you know? I mean, you look at the... Let's keep doing this. I don't want to get distracted. And besides, it's good for me. Because if I sharp, increase my sharpen skill, sharpening skill, you know. There we go. There goes a whetstone, guys. I love my whetstone collection, though. It's one of my favorites. Darn it, I forgot to drop my... I forgot to drop my heavy hand. Oh, well. All right. Yeah, sure. A little bit of, a little bit of gambling. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's tuck in. Won't kill me even if it starts to freeze me to death. You just gotta know how far you can push the little fella. Oh, cabin fever risk came back. It could have stayed in the hut or in the uh, yeah in the fishing shack there. Could have stayed in there. Could have stayed in that shack and then uh, you know just just hung out. Um, whoa, 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 let's not be too distracted. Done that kind of thing before. You know, I, it's like, I want this lantern really bad, and then I turn around and, you know, harvest said lantern. And that's my gameplay right there in a nutshell. So we gotta get this, yeah, might as well, I mean, it's, that's a no good torch anyhow. Might as well get the, uh, The 
the sticks out of these things. Because I'm not quite at a good traveling time of day. Well, we can also make arrows. We've got a lot of options. we got enough arrow shafts to last me quite some time. And we haven't even really, really gotten into it, you know? Like, when you start looking from region to region for all their saplings and stuff like that, it totals up to quite a few. And it also gets to the point where after you've made a couple of the big kills, like a couple of bear, a couple of moose, you know, um, you know, if you're fishing with any sort of consistency, get up with a bunch of food. Beautiful night. I'm wondering if that rabbit dragged that wolf somewhere and put him in a weird spot. And he is going to accost me from an angle I'm not used to. We're just, we're, we're done with, um, not done with, but we're done with fishing for now. Wait, do I have hooks? Yeah, I've got plenty of hooks. And now I have a line, but we're not going to do it right now. We're going to go on an adventure. Now that I have my coat. Very nice. Yes. So now that I have my coat, we don't need to stick around and do goofy uh, crafting at the moment. We can uh, go on a bit of a walking tour. There's only really a couple of spots left on Timberwolf that we haven't been to, which may contain some decent loot. But um, I really want to go back to the wing. Um, there's a lot of birch bark, a lot of deer, moose spawn potential. And, uh, as always, you know, you can find yourself a wolf any time of day. Let's make an arrow shaft, uh, shall we? But you make three, but let's make three of those then. Anything. Yeah. She's a hungry girl. So we will eat three cattails. Drink a little water. And get to archery four, I believe. I believe. We can get to archery four. And I'm in no hurry. You know, we want the day to go on. We've got the calories. I need anything right about now. So that's another two hits on archery. So that that'll help. And she's a hungry girl. So we eat eat two, keeping our five emergency cattails on hand we can still go get more cattails here this is not this is not over so I can't forget about me rabbit All right, a second here. let's check to see bow is I've had better the bow has, has seen better days but it'll be all right now we can take a little hit of course I will play it cautiously, uh, but uh, if we take a small hit, we will survive a wolf attack if it comes down to it. 
I uh, generally. Um, sometimes you get the wolf that, uh, if you would have killed him, you would have weighed like, you know, you could have got like six and a half kilograms of meat off this guy. You're like, oof, that's a big wolf. bear isn't back yet, so that's always uh, comforting. Because having that uh, terror machine just hanging out while you're trying to get your business done, it's a little unnerving. You know what? I might have food over here, too. I don't, I don't know. That's a cool thing about being really paranoid about walking around smelling. Heck, we might find, like, arrows and stuff here. Like, I did do some work in the region. Starting to feel numb, yeah. Not the best time to start firing the bow. And there we go. More saplings. Not looking for them, but we're going to find them. One second here. Okay. Nope, she's going to die if she doesn't warm up soon. None of this is permanent. I hope she realizes that. Looks like I got a pile of food over there, so... She'll be alright. We'll go have a barbecue over at the wing here. Yeah. What kind of food? You know, some of it's risky. Some of it's risky. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a steak out of both. Now, is this like I don't know? Uh, cool thing about the direction of the wind right now is wolves will not know. I know, right? Come on, yeah. Why, why, why is this not a, a valid place? I've had fires here before, you. You jerk. Come on. Too windy for a fire there. All right, all right, okay. Right, up, upsy daisy. Oh, look, a piece of birch bark. All right, fine. We'll do it right here. I don't like to, but yeah, I think I'll go right here. Yeah. See. All right. Boom. There we go. All this time, yes, all this time, she's freezing, looking for a place to start a fire while she slowly starves. Lucky day. Lucky day indeed. It was two and a half hours? Sure, that looks good. All right, let's go grab our dinner. Oh, look, more birch bark. We got stuff to tear up while we're uh, waiting on our food, right? like it. The wind is definitely going the right way for me. Okay, so we're going to throw you on. Throw you on. 
scooch down. Now it's ruined because it's too close to the fire. That's okay. Use your words. We will make some birch bark for tea. So, if everyone's enjoying the slow pace of my of my series so far, I'm not trying to get her killed, right? I'm trying to make her survive. We're gonna go hang out in that cave over there too. It's it's a it's a cabin fever thing. I needed to go on tour, right? So. Alright, so, I guess we should cook coffee, but I don't want to do it here. I want to do it back in the base where I can kind of, you know. Kind of keep an eye on them, right? I can drop them off there. I mean, kind of lame to watch, but it's like these are the things that, that make a thousand day run possible. Taking your time, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I could have grabbed, we could be using toolboxes when we make arrows, but why? Am I in a hurry? Not really, no. And what is going on here? Oh, the why don't you just go for a nice little walk weather? It's just inviting you on in. See what happens. It's good for you. And good for the cooking boy. That's some good fire time. looking for the moose because if I see him at this point this is this that's who I want to see right now we've got our our um, <clears throat> we've got our special bag our special backpack Ooh, look a stick we got ourselves a backpack we've got ourselves a well-fed bonus You don't have to play with the wed fell, well, wed, wed fell bonus. You don't have to. Or the well-fed one. Either either of those. You don't have to do that. I do it. Not for the carrying capacity. But to make it uh, difficult. Because it's difficult. To, especially early game. To maintain your well-fed. And kind of difficult to maintain throughout the game like when you're traveling and stuff like that you constantly have to be hunting you're spending the night in that cave over there. you know what it's nice let's just yeah because I got a feeling it's gonna you yeah. oh I just got rid of torches like you also yuck come on we can do better that's slightly better All right. I like that no one gets out alive, Outer Loper. That's nice, except for the sleeping in the caves. I'm like, meh. As soon as you can sleep in a, one of those transition caves, that's a house, man. It 
it will always offer you protection in any weather. Because they get they say, you know, they're they're like there's there's no they the rules are no uh, structures that provide a warmth bonus. A couple of exceptions. But um, Mountaineering's hut, hut is uh, that's way too easy, right? Like, I get it. it it's, it's my place to go to on my regular Outer Loafer runs, right? Same as the Overlooks. So that inhibits a lot of tool gathering. Because um, the hammer shows up in overlooks, right? So... And then again, what's the point? Why would you ever go to... Uh, like, why would you ever go to Bleak Inlet? Really, at that point, then, it's another reason to never go to Bleak Inlet. But yeah, this is nice. We got we went on a little tour. Uh, we haven't hit this cave yet, so like I said, there were, are a few uh, places with uh, potential decent loot. I'm really hoping that's not the one. Because sometimes you get this gust of wind. That is the gust of wind. That means that the blizzard is starting. And I'd just rather not, you know? made it this far with that fire. Nice. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll use the uh, fire time bonus. We'll use the fire time bonus, sure. Could have even moved the fire up closer. If this doesn't work, this if this bunks me, then we'll move the fire up closer to that limb. You know, up here. Where it's still hey, there's my fire three. There goes my tinder. So there goes my tinder. There, all that weight. Woo! Alright. You on for fun, you on for less fun. I got a feeling we got a blizzard inbound, so put that out and away. What do we got in here? We got some fresh uh, plasticky air. All right, quick nap because you know, love my naps, love my naps. I just want the weather to really determine what it wants to do, you know? Like, it looks like it wants to storm. Like, the, the, as a guy who lived on Timberwolf Mountain for a long time, hundreds of days, hundreds of days, I got to see a lot of weather that was like this, and then the weather never cleared up. Like, it just stayed like this, with this mild snow, medium winds, overcast skies and you and if you're waiting on a lens fire because you're trying to be efficient uh, I had a bear a, a dead bear disappear on me it was kind of crushing kind of crushing sometimes not all the time you can find a person who didn't make it up here Still pulling in saplings. We got Reishi there if we ever want it. This is a little kind of a in inlet cave here. If you're ever stuck in a blizzard, that thing can save your your life if the wind's going the right way. That is it. So that just takes us around. Let's see, is my fire at the wing still going? Let's 
Looks like it's out. It's not breaking an ankle. Oh, so you break a wrist instead. It's okay. We're not. We're not in danger. We're okay. Ah, uh, there's a fire down where you're going. There we are. Nice and safe. Uh, I thought about dropping those saplings, but there's a good chance I'll just forget them. Alright, so how are we doing for matches? For plenty, right? Let's... I don't know. a lot. Fire time should buy us a nice three hour nap. Beautiful. Look at that. Plenty of fire time. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go hunting real quick if we can. Cabin fever risk is still there. It'll go away. Even if we go back to the hut right now, it'll generally go away. Like, I'm seeing moose rubbings. But I'm not seeing a moose. I should just put it out and put it away.
we're not going dancing though. Good. Be a little chilly on this shot, I think. Darn it. Well, I guess. Try it. Come on now. No. The sound comes from over there, so they run diagonally across towards it. Like, you know, the idea of, well, let's not have it make it too easy for them to manipulate animals with rocks. The wolves go right to it, but the deer just randomly run as soon as there's a noise. They don't actually run from the noise. Now you're probably wondering, what am I doing, man? Well, what I'm trying to do is get a deer to die near a fuel source so that when I start the fire, we can all just, you know, I can just turn and then chop up the log, but these things keep running into the wrong places. Now, I'm not taking a heavy-duty beating over it, but I'm still... I'm losing a lot of condition for a deer hunt. Come on. Guys. Give a girl a break. She's hungry and cold. And it's windy and cold. Like, I'm just gonna kill this guy soon enough and call this branch. You know, ah, it can buy me half an hour. But, oh, as if he saw me. I thought I was crouched. Not as if he saw me. Oh, he saw me. I thought I was crouched. Like, that's enough, man. There's my archery. Now, where is this wind coming from? Worst direction possible. And, of course, this guy falls right into the category where I want him to be. Especially if he comes forward, like... Oh, now he does a 90 degree. Okay. Ah, you saw me again. You always just see me. Alright, well, the night's turning into nice, so let's, let's gather up some sticks. Hopefully that fire is still going in that cave over there. I don't know if you can see it from here. If it is going at all. I don't know if that took an hour. It doesn't feel like an hour, but you never know. I won't be surprised if I do run into occasional arrows in Timberwolf now with all the uh, firing shots at animals I've been doing. Because I don't hit that often. Does it look like a nicely lit up warm cave? Kind of does look like that to me. Looks like we might have what we're looking for in here. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Good strong fire. There you are, girly. What do we got? What do we got? 24 minutes. Nah. It's kind of pushing it. Like, you know, I managed to get some sticks and such. No aurora. No aurora. That's, I got my fingers crossed for zero aurora. All right, hypothermia risk is healed. How about that cabin fever risk, right? You know, like, anytime that wants to hit Beach Street, it is more than welcome. Okay, so we should have enough sticks to, oh, beautiful, guys, beautiful. We could harvest this thing. I mean, I won't, but we could. This is wonderful. This, like, like one downward arrow, what do we got here? Yeah, minus eight. You could totally use a hacksaw, take a little bit of damage, and, and tear down a limb. I 
I guess I shouldn't take a direct route because the direct route will be stick free. Roundabout way will be. Uh, there will be a chance of sticks. So we'll eat and we'll transport some meat home. And I guess get ready for the next jump off point. Um, we need to go down to Coastal Highway so I can start setting up my Coastal Highway base. Because, you know, she gets a hankering for salmon every once in a while. And so that's also another th thing that you can do that will pass time is setting up bases, right? So, you know, you're not you're not focusing on the goal overall of just making it to 1,000 days. If you just make it to tomorrow and then do that a thousand times, well, there you are. That was a lot of me running around after a deer just to shoot it as it ran right towards me. See, it would never do that before. They used to make sure to run away from you if they saw you. They hardly ever ran directly at you. Let's hope that bear doesn't respawn me with me in the middle of harvesting this thing. Alright, where is it? Oh, it's actually where it says it is? Sort of? Wow, that's pretty cool. Sometimes it's not so much there. Okay, well, let's set down our fire. Optional. I love options. 85% with a torch. Now it's 95% with my fire striker, which is good. I'll take the risk on that. And if it, you know, because 95, I, I've never seen 95 do it like three times in a row, like 85 does, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's oh, made point. up percentages. So how long do we want to be out here? Three hours? Yeah, three hours. Shoo. How long do we want mild fog or heavy fog? Three hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're warming right up. Meat time. Because that's not what we have. I like it. Drink right now. Ooh, anything? Like reach into your backpack and drink some of the liters of water you have? Alright, so this thing's going to take two hours. That's got two hours. That's going to take an hour. So let's harvest some meat. the guts but we're taking them anyway can we oh yeah we can pull the hide we can pull the hide before the fire before anything burns that's what I'm getting at So we went over here, we got, we got, we got dinner, you know, we got uh, some guts, we got a hide, we got a bunch of saplings. What else do I want to do while I sit here though, really? Fix my my pants, my firelight. Sure, we need our other pair of wool socks. 
I can't believe my dead man character got wool socks and then almost instantly broke them down. That was that was a pretty classic me move. I do that. I do that. That's my that's my go-to. Is to play all goofy. All right. So now let's continue to look at our inventory, shall we? This guy gets me point two, and this guy. So we can get point four more degrees. But this guy gets us point three, and this guy gives us point three. Well, let's just do the pants. Sorry for the mic tap, guys. What I'm hoping for is less fog. And that I can cook all this meat, and then I don't have to cook it again. Whew, I'm an expert cook, though. Would you like my, my venison recipe? What you do is uh, you put it on a rock, and you wait for the fire to almost burn it, and then you take it off. It's, it's an old family recipe. Yeah, we'll make uh, coffee on the way out. I have a lot of stuff, I have to admit. I mean, really. Might as well make it. And yeah, I totally could um, use fishing tackle to mend my stuff instead of sewing kits because again not really in a hurry you know not really in a hurry at all all right What I like, we got some nice clear weather, so I can see what's about to attack me. Always, always delightful to know what's coming. tired and now smells like guts let's get this poor girl home it's been a very very long adventure for her I need to find a place to rest get weird though but the place you rest gives you cabin fever I don't know what to tell you so we got archery for this level Here we got cooking for this level this this episode Got a bunch of saplings. It wasn't like momentous for like action or adventure. We just went over here to the wing. But that's the cool thing about Timberwolf, you know? Just going to one, like one little move can totally gear you up or kill you. It can kill you as well. You can also die. Don't, don't, don't think it's a walk in the park. Nobody, nobody wants to talk to you. I've, my dear friend is in this area. I'm gonna have to probably do a setup and kill you both. Hey, do you know my coat? Like, do you know somebody in my coat? I happen to have potentially somebody you know as a sleeve. Disconcerting conversation, I'm sure. Huh? 
and now he can't see me. Guys, we lost him. That was the last of it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go home. Beautiful night. Fog's lifting. The day will be breaking soon. And we'll be getting ready to go down to Coastal Highway. Now that I believe I've pretty much one on Timberwolf Mountain. I think I'm I think I'm ahead, you know, I think I'm doing okay. Let's pull out the bow just in case something attacks us right here. If you've never had anything attack you right here, then good for you. You have played the game correctly and not gotten attacked on the front porch of your own house. I have been attacked on my front porch many times. We're gonna bring him in just uh that's going to be the ender of the video, I think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we get rid of... Yes, yeah, so we go like this. Gut, gut. Then we drop our food. Good, good. Let's close this door. Put away our bow. Have a drink of water. We're going to get a little tired. But when I come to from my nap... Um... Can I do this by hand at all? No. Okay, my knife. Yeah, I know. But when I come to from a nap, from a sleep, it'll be walking time. We can, uh, it'll be a nice day. We can go for a little bit of a tour and uh, get on out to Coastal Highway. Start setting up our base out there. Of course, picking up saplings, etc., etc., the whole way through. So when we get there, we'll have a decent amount of things. We've got some carry weight. We can go up to 40, so I can get some not ridiculous things uh, ripped out of my inventory here. We don't need. Days of the can opener are almost done. Well, not really. But after we explore everywhere, we don't really need the can opener anymore. Uh, our canned food is going to slowly diminish. As you can see here, we've, we've started to make the transition of fish and meat. So, all right. So, yes, on our next episode, we will be heading to Desolation Point, I guess. Go to Coastal Highway, set up a little bit, go to Desolation Point. Do a forge run there. Bring a whole bunch of crap back from Desolation Point. Whole time I'm hoping. If I run into a moose, we're hunting them. We're stopping there and killing them. I've got flare gun. I'm confident. Yeah. Alright guys. See you next time. Till then, keep surviving.